You guys won't believe what you're going to be seeing today. What's good, everybody? Dargle here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time. It is time. And yes, I know I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday because I was I was going to be done uploading for today or filming, I should say. I wasn't going to film anything till tomorrow for tomorrow's video. But then this came in the mail, guys. Something absolutely amazing. Something that I've been waiting for a hot minute, my guy. That is Lost Thunder. As you guys know, a brand new Pokemon set is just about to release on November 2nd. Is the official release date over here in the US, North America, whatever you want to call it. But guys, that's not all. This is the biggest Pokemon TCG set ever created ever so that means there is gonna be a ton of heat a ton of prisms a ton of gx cards and just a very very huge set to collect personally i'm not sure if i'm going to complete this set i'm gonna try maybe don't quote me on that i'm gonna try but i mainly love to complete sets basically that are subsets like Dragon Majesty, you know, Shining Legends, and whatnot. And guys, I'm breaking one of the Pokemon rules that is absolutely crazy. I am opening up a set while I have another set as my playmat. Does that make sense? Because I'm opening up Lost Thunder, but my playmat says Dragon Majesty, you feel me? Like, I just love dragons, so you're probably going to see this playmat a lot. But alrighty, guys, let me go ahead and show you the freaking ET... Why did I say ETB? This is a freaking, uh, what do you call it? Pre-release kit. I forgot about it for one second, but these are pre-release kits. Obviously, I took off the plastic just to save some time because y'all already know me. In the last video, I struggled with plastic so much, it was not even funny. But guys, we are not just going to be opening up one Lost Thunder box. We are going to open up two, meaning we're going to be opening up a total of eight booster packs of Lost Thunder just in this single video my guy that is gonna be absolutely crazy and I, I hope you guys are pumped because i'm pumped i sound like a nerd i'm happy i'm excited i just can't wait to see what we get man brand new set i didn't do any type of research in lost thunder as you guys know i don't do any research to the brand new sets that are releasing because i want it to be a surprise a total mystery to me so guys if you are excited for today's video, bro, smash that like button because I'm freaking excited. And make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the cool army, and welcome. And don't forget to turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a video. Because if you do, I, don't, I try to say that so fast just so you guys don't have to hear that again. But like I said, if you guys comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army, you could be featured in a video like these individuals right here. Without further ado, guys, let me go ahead and show you what comes in a pre-release kit. Now, I know a lot of you already know what comes in one. But in case you guys don't know, it comes with obviously a sleeve right here. And on the back, it actually shows you a small little list of what you get. A code card, four packs, and obviously you guys get like a premature deck or something like that because it's only 23 cards, you feel me? And then you do get a foil pre-release card included. Now, I'm not sure what are the pre-release cards that are included, but we'll see. We'll see. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for that Lost Thunder, bro? Let's get it, man. In three two one oh my god even though it doesn't look as appealing it's still like an oh my god moment guys we have officially opened up lost thunder on the channel as you guys know i did not attend a pre-release but but i am probably gonna attend the one that is coming up this weekend so with that being said guys we got the we got the Suicune, bro. Oh my god. I love this Pokemon. I'm glad. Should I open it? Let's open it because I want to give you guys the code card that actually comes within this packet right here. Dang, bro. That is beautiful, man. Suicune is such a beast. And okay, what is this? What is this? It's like a mini poster. Well, it could have been a poster if this text wasn't included. But I mean, that's kind of like a description of Lost Thunder. So this could be like a little, you know, put a little picture frame on this and bam, you got yourself a nice Pokemon 
picture to put in your room. But let me go ahead and show you guys the back real quick. And it's basically showing you building tips. So when you are at a pre-release, it gives you tips on basically, you know, how to open up your pre-release kit as well as constructing a deck and whatnot. So let me go ahead and put that to the side. Y'all already know what it is, man. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and open this. Yeah, let's just open this up first. I was gonna save it for last, but then, you know, I think, I thought twice and I was like, let's just go ahead and open it now. So we got ourselves a Suicune. Oh my God, just look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. We got, it's stamped too, bro. It is stamped. Let me go ahead and get a sleeve for this right quick, man. The first card of Lost Thunder we've ever held in our hands. It is a Suicune pre-release card it is absolutely beautiful man it is beautiful just look at that oh my god just look okay i'm gonna stop i'm stop being creepy with the cards man i gotta stop doing that okay let's see what we get so here is the code card for you guys right there i'm not sure if this is redeemable right now but i'm pretty sure it will be like obviously soon because it's about to be november it's literally right around the corner now but guys let's go ahead and see what else do we get in this kit so we got baby girl how do you say that name khalil no wait hold up hold up i can say this guys i got this hold up hold up Kahili. 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 Kahili! I feel like it's Kahili, guys. Let me know if it's Kahili. Because it does sound accurate than saying Kahili. You feel me? Kahili. Is it Kahili? I don't even know. I'm gonna stop doing that because that sounds ridiculous. Okay, we got copycat. So it looks like it is a mixture. Oh, we got some new cards right here. Look at that, guys! Oh my god. 214 cards in this set. And that is not including the secret rares. That's how you know this is a stupid big set right here. So we got double Poplio action, we got Brion in the cut, and then we got that Prima Arena. Absolutely beautiful. Check that out. Ooh, baby girl! Hold up! Hold up with that sundress! Okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. But she looked good, you feel me? She looked good. We got, ooh, we got a Poipo in the cut. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we got the Naganadel! I love this Pokemon, man. I love it. We got Natsu, Zatu, and that's basically the last card right there. So now that we got this pre-release kit out of the way, let me go ahead and prepare for the packs. All right, guys. So we got the star of the show, and y'all already know I got to have the homie Suicune on that freaking stand. And then we got our booster packs right here, guys. We got the... How do you say this Pokemon's name? I forgot. I need to see the actual text. So I know how to say it, you feel me? But I do have a general idea on how to say the name. And then this one too, this name. Like, I don't know all of the Ultra Beast names because I've never seen all of them. Like, obviously I've heard of them, I've seen them, but I haven't, you know, physically or verbally. Why did I say physically? I've never verbally said their names, you feel me? Literally the only Ultra Beast names I've ever said is Buzzwool, as well as Naganadel and Necrozma. Those are basically the main ones that I've only said. And then we got the Celebi artwork, y'all. We got two Celebi artworks. So we are missing one pack art, and I'm pretty sure that is the Lugia pack art. So for some reason, these packs are so flimsy. Like they feel like they have a lot of space within these packs so hopefully they're not tampered with i highly doubt it because these are pre-release kids but i don't know man i ordered these from ebay so it can go one or two ways you feel me so the guys let's just go ahead and start with the celebi pack because this is our duplicate pack and let the games begin why did i say games we're not even playing a game but let the lost thunder opening begin ladies and gentlemen check that out first pack and the first code card goes to you guys so let me know what you guys get in the comments down below and let's go ahead i'm pretty sure the pack trick is still four because it's the sun and moon era okay let's see what we get guys i am gonna go a little bit slower in this opening because i do want to see the artwork of the pokemon so we got the snubble we got the slugma we got the picky pack oh my god close that mouse bruxish did i even say the name right brux ish yeah that's how you say it but oh my god that artwork is crazy like oh what are you doing who are you trying to eat first and foremost 
close that mouth before something goes in there you feel me and i ain't talking okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop we got the dedene we got a grass energy we got a carbink and oh skip the card we got a shenotic i feel like i've already seen this artwork of shenotic like all of the shenotic artworks looks so similar like it's hard to tell if it's another type of artwork you feel me so we got the kecleon in the cuts we got the litwick everybody y'all already know this video is gonna be lit okay i had to do it i had to do it on y'all and then oh we got that victini artwork y'all with that like you know cartoon drawing artwork and that looks beautiful did i say we got that victini artwork i felt like that's what i just said but we got the victini regular rare absolutely beautiful i'm not even mad that we're getting a regular rare right now because i just want to look at the artworks bruh like there is so many cards in this set so many cards to appreciate let's get into the next pack y'all and let's see what we get so here is the next code card of lost thunder for you guys right there like i said i'm pretty sure you can't open up the packs right now but you can still redeem them but it's gonna give you a set date to open them up so we got the Chansey right here, basically camouflaging with the dolls right here. We got the substitute doll right there as well. We got the Pachirisu clay art. We got the Poplio, and it looks like it has like a candy background. Like these candies remind me of some hard candies I used to have when I was a kid. And oh, we got the spin rack. That artwork is clean. I'm not even going to lie. That is some clean artwork right there. I might have to put that to the side for, you know, an Instagram flick. You feel me? If you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. Link is in the description down below. I'll be posting basically a daily on there as well as on my story. So I'm very, very active on my Instagram. But we got the Electro Power right there, guys. Oh, we got the homie Deli Bird. He made it. Deli Bird made it, everybody. It's just an uncommon. I wish they made Deli Bird a rare. That would be crazy if they did. But look at that, guys. Very, very beautiful card. We got Bayleaf, Pineco, and we got the Slow King Regular Rare, everybody. I know I'm gonna get tired of seeing that Slow King, man. Like, I, I don't know what it is. Like, the entire Slowpoke line, I'm not too fond of it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But here is the next code card for you guys right there of Lost Thunder. Let me go ahead and rip that. Somebody in the comments actually said that they cringe every time I rip a code card while i'm holding the freaking cards on my hand and i don't get why that's a cringe because i'm careful when it comes to my pokemon cards you feel me so we got ourselves a skip loom with the chum pluff aka if you guys didn't know hop hip evolves into skip loom and skip loom evolves into chum pluff so that's a very very nice way to put the artwork honestly we got that grow vial we got a brion we got the Qualava. Ooh, is typhlosion in this set we got the suicune hollow that's weird that yo we literally got two suicunes right now basically the same attacks but different artwork that's crazy that is crazy y'all but we got a nice suicune hala 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 graphic everybody y'all already know how i do with them holographics i love them i absolutely love them actually i don't when i'm trying to hunt for something but that's besides the point all right guys final pack of our lost thunder pre-release kit and let's see what we get should we spoil the color let's spoil it let's spoil it y'all oh it's a white coat oh my god i've been waiting for this day am i doing four or am i tripping okay so we did get a white coat we did get a white coat guys let's not get too ahead of ourselves because you know it could just be a hollow so let's see what we get we got an onyx we got ourselves a Quilava Girafrig, I'm pretty sure. Like, I know how to, I know that Pokemon, guys, but sometimes I slaughter Pokemon names and I don't do it on purpose. I don't do it on purpose. But we got ourselves, oh, we got the Celebi Prism. Let's get it, man. Let's freaking get it. That is beautiful. And then we got the Dialga Hollow. Two legendaries in one pack. I know Celebi is a mythical Pokemon, but it's still a legendary Pokemon in a sense. You feel me? Mythical is just its own category. But dang, guys, we literally only got like special Pokemon as our pools. We got the Suicune, we got Dialga, and Celebi. Let me go ahead and sleeve up this Celebi right quick, though. And it is going to be taking Suicune's spot because we've never pulled that Celebi before. And guys, let me go ahead and grab the other freaking pre-release kit we're going to be opening up right here in today's video, guys. Because like I said, we're going to be opening up two pre-release kits in one single video. 
my guy. Alrighty guys, so obviously you guys get the same thing that you get in the previous pre-release kit. So let's see what our promo is. It's a Tapu Lele. It is a Tapu Bebe. Get it? Bay? Bay? No? No? Okay, I'm gonna stop. But I love this Pokemon. Tapu Lele is like one of my most favorite legendary- Oh my god, I thought I'd almost damaged it. Oh, I was about to cry. But it is one of my most favorite legendary Pokemon from Sun and Moon. From the Alola region, basically. Let me go ahead and grab a sleeve real quick for Bay over here because it needs that sleeve. Check that out absolutely love this pokemon most of the tapu lele cards they come out with are very very playable too so here is the code card for that pre-release kit for you guys right there and then we got a baby girl aka sightseer and then we got basically the same type of cards that we got last time we did get we didn't get this card last time though then we got a looker fairy charms a couple fairy charms very very nice and then we got the wigglytuff chigglypuff line right there but ladies and gentlemen we got the Lugia artwork, aka the best artwork of Lost Thunder. We basically got one of each artwork. Let's get it, man. We got one of each artwork right here. We're going to save Lugia for last. And let's go ahead and do it in this order right here. We're going to start things off with Celebi. Y'all already know what it is, man. Oh my god, I'm so freaking hyped right now, guys. You guys don't understand how hyped I am right now. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Celebi, do not let me down because if you let me down, that Celebi is going to come out of the stand and it's basically not going to be the star of the show anymore if you give me a dud pool. Or I might have to leave it because it's genuinely our only ultra rare pool. So we got a Mary, but I didn't even notice that. We got the Chiggly. Oh my god, look at me out just chilling. Just look at me out right there, man. So sassy. The Alolan Meowth and Lolan Persian are so sassy, bro. We got the Cub Chew. Shouts out to Cub Chew, man. Getting that attention it deserves. We got... Oh my god! You know what this reminds me of? What's that show called? Or it also has movies. It also has a game. I think it's like... Oh my god. I can't freaking put my tongue on it, guys. But it's basically a man and a dog. Wallace and Grummet. Is that what it's called? I don't remember, guys. But I'll be putting a picture right here on the screen because... That's what this type of artwork and obviously this deck trio reminds me of because that's how their hair be looking like. But we got ourselves a pincer. Pincer looks high. I'm not even gonna lie. What you been smoking, pincer? We got that adventure bag right here. Very, very nice. We haven't been getting too much trainer cards from actual packs is what I've noticed. And then, ooh, we got the lantern regular rare. I love lantern. But we did get a dud from our Celebi pack so that is unfortunate everybody that is unfortunate but let's go ahead and keep on rolling and let's see what else can we get so here is the next code card for you guys right there let's go ahead what am I doing here what am I doing sometimes I forget if I'm even doing the pack trick or not but let's go ahead we got a cutie fly everybody chin chow hop hip so every pack we open ooh, choice helmet what does that do the pokemon this card is attached to takes 30 less damage from the attacks of your opponents gx and ex pokemon honestly rocky helmet i do prefer rocky helmet because you're doing damage to the attacking pokemon so we got ourselves a morty stantler but that's not a bad card at all guys don't get me wrong we got the larvitar everybody that is some sick artwork. Is that some Rowlets right there or am I tripping? But we got ourselves probably the best Larvitar artwork I've ever seen. Is that a Pokemon right there? Hold up, guys. Hold up. Hold up. Yo, that's crazy. It is literally building a Tyranitar. So we did get a Dust Tox regular rare. But guys, check this out real quick. Look what Larvitar is building. Literally a Sandcastle of freaking Titar. A freaking Godzilla. That is probably the most genius artwork I've ever seen thus far for Sun and Moon that's been released. You feel me? That's so cute, man. That is so cute. I'm gonna put that for the recap because I actually really love that. And I also love the fact that we got it as a reverse form. So here is the next code card for you guys right there. We are almost done with our Apex, man. It has flown by so quick, man. So freaking quick. Y'all don't understand. So we got ourselves another Brux-ish, and now, oh, we got the Sudowoodo. Shouts out to the homie Sudowoodo, man. Very, 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 very beautiful Pokemon. And now we got the Shenotic Reverse, and we got the Raikou regular 
rare and that is some clean artwork of raikou i wish i got it as a holographic but it's all good guys we got a lugia pack can we get some luck on our lugia pack everybody i feel like this is the one this is the only lugia pack that we've ever gotten in this entire opening and out of our two boxes so let's hope that there is some heat everybody let's hope there is some heat so here is a code card for you guys right there, and I just want to reveal it. I just want to reveal- Oh! No! No! Last pack magic! Let's get it! Can we get an ultra rare? Because if we don't get an ultra rare that's not, you know, a prism star, I'm gonna cry. I am honestly gonna cry. So we got a Tangela right here. We got a Vulpix, a Lolan Vulpix, I should say. We got the Cyndaquil, Girafrig. I'm pretty sure- Am I saying that wrong? I feel like I'm butchering it every time I say it. We got a Stantler. Moo Moo Milk, and we got the Cobalion Holographic. Shouts out to the Swords of Justice, though, because they are absolutely amazing. But it's not an Ultra. Man, I was hoping for at least one Ultra Rare pool, bro. Like, that's all I literally wanted in today's video, you feel me? So let me go ahead and do a quick recap of what we got. So out of eight packs, ladies and gentlemen, we got, realistically, we got four pulls. We got three hollows and one prism star. So just to show you guys what we got, we basically got all legendary Pokemon, you know, hollow wise as basically as our pools. Every single one is a legendary or mythical Pokemon, which is absolutely crazy. So we got the Cobalion, Dialga, Suicune, we got the Tapu Lele, and then we got the pre-release of Suicune as well. And then for our star of the show, everybody, we got that Celebi Prism Star absolutely amazing this card is beautiful now i did spoil myself and i do know there is a ditto prism star and that card is freaking amazing i'm not even gonna lie that card is one of a kind that's all i'm gonna say and then of course we did get the beautiful infamous larvitar reverse right there very very beautiful card but guys if you did enjoy this video man smash that like button i do also have here hint hint I have another Lost Thunder pre-release kit, but we're going to be doing something else with that pre-release kit. It's basically a tradition that we do here on the channel. So if you guys know what it is, no spoilers. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. And I also hope you guys are ready for Lost Thunder. Question of the day before I end off this video. What is the card you are looking forward to in Lost Thunder? Honestly, for me, it would have... I'm not too sure, guys. There is a lot of cards I'm looking forward to. Ditto Prism is one of them, and I don't know all of the Ultras yet, so I'm just going to say Ditto Prism until I get a feel of what's in this set. The next time I open up Lost Thunder, I'm going to know what's in this set because I'm obviously going to spoil myself with all of the Ultras, basically looking at the card list. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.